Hello all and today we will discuss how to SSH from one Linux EC2 instance to another. Before we jump into the demo, I have enlisted all the steps as to how we can go about doing this. I would strongly recommend that if you are uh, attempting to do this demo or by your own, uh, feel free to pause the video over here and follow these steps. Okay, so let's review the steps. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to use putty.exe to basically SSH to our source Linux EC2 instance using its public IP. And on this source uh, Linux EC2 instance, after once we have logged in, we will create a new file and copy our AWS key pair that is being used by our target EC2 instance. When, when I say that we create a file, we'll be basically using either one of the editors, either Nano or Vim, to create a file and copy the contents of our AWS key pair. So the AWS key pair contents that you need to copy is the .pem file that uh, is typically generated when you create a, an AWS key pair uh, for yourself. Save the AWS key pair file and then finally use the command that's there on the screen essentially to SSH from your source Linux EC2 instance to your target Linux EC2 instance. So as you see as a part of this command over here you require uh, the target EC2 instances AWS key pair and its private IP address. And eventually you will see that you are connected via SSH to your target Linux EC2 instance. Okay, so let's jump into the demo now. So to speed up the demo, what I have done is I have launched uh, two EC2 instances over here. One is a source instance and other one is a target instance, as you can see. So let's review through the properties of for both these instances. So for the source instance, as you see, we do have a, pri uh, a public IP address attached to it. Now both these instances are actually launched in my default VPC, okay? And um, as you see, I've associated a public IP SG. We will review through the properties of the security group shortly. The instance type is T2 micro. And the key pair that I have used for the source Linux EC2 is WS key pair, w, w, AWS key pair, sorry. Okay, most of the other properties are um, the same as default. Okay, now let's review the properties of our target Linux EC2 instance. So as you see, our target Linux EC2 instance does not have a public IP address. It only has a private IP address. And this is the IP address that we will use to SSH into this instance from our source Linux EC2 instance. It is a T2 micro uh, instance and it is using the same security group. We will review the security group shortly. And the key pair that it is using is AWS key pair. The key pair that I have used for both of them is the same. You could potentially use a different key pair if you want. But the idea uh, or uh, the way to SSH from the source uh, Linux EC2 instance to target EC2 is, uh, is, uh, instance will still be the same. Okay, so let's review so the security group uh, uh, public IP SG. So as you see, this particular security group has port 80 and 22 inbound open, outbound, I have kept everything as default. Now, even though uh, the ports are open, you will be able to SSH into your source uh, Linux EC2 instance uh, because it has directly, basically using PuTTY because it has a public IP. Okay, but the same thing is not true for your target Linux EC2 instance because a target Linux EC2 instance does not have a public IP address. It only has a private IP address. So in order for you to SSH into your target uh, Linux EC2 instance, it's important 
that you connect to one of your uh, EC2 instances, which is publicly exposed, and then SSH into this private EC2 uh, instance. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy our uh, the IP address of our source EC2 instance. So this is the public IP address and we'll copy that. We will use putty to connect. So I'm going to copy the host uh, address over here. Let me increase the font size so you can easily see. Okay, and then I am going to select my private key. This is the private key and click on open. So as you see, we are connected now. And we will log in over here as EC2 hyphen user. Okay, so we are logged in into our EC2 instance now. So the first thing, the next thing that we have to do is uh, create a new file. So let's use nano. Okay, and all we need to do is we need to copy the contents of our AWS key pair dot pem file uh, over there. So let's open up this uh, AWS key pair dot pem file in notepad. So as you see, I'm opening it up. Just copy all the contents. So control C and paste it right here. So it's, we've pasted all the contents over here. Exit and you want to say yes and you want to type uh, the name of the key pair file. So let's give it a name. Uh, can give it AWS key pair file. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. Now remember the name of the file it was AWS key pair file. Okay, the next thing that we need to do after we have created the AWS key pair file on the source so Linux EC2 instance is now use that very same key pair file along with the target EC2 instances private IP address to log in and SSH into it. Okay, so the command for that is essentially this. I had actually copied this on Notepad so that we can continue further ahead easily. So I'm gonna copy it over here. Okay. Okay, I think I should only get it until here. Yes, sometimes if you copy it, there you go. Okay, so let's go back and replace these parameters. Okay, so our AWS key pair file name was AWS sorry, key pair file. And the user that we are going to use is EC2 hyphen user. And we have to use the target Linux EC2 instances private IP address. Okay, so let's go back and copy the IP address. So this is our target Linux EC2 instance. This is its private IP address. Let's copy this. Okay, and paste it here. Okay, so our command is completely ready. So we, as you see, the command is ssh minus i, the AWS key pair file name, the EC2 user, uh, because this is a user that we will be using to connect to our target uh, Linux EC2 instance and the target Linux EC2 instance's private IP address. So let's hit enter. So it's asking me whether I want to continue or not. So I'm going to say yes. And now it's telling me the permission is denied. And this is because of the permissions on my AWS key pair files. I'm going to go ahead and modify those permissions. So I'm going to say ch mod and make it probably 600 AWS key pair file. Okay, so the permissions are modified now. 
Now I should go ahead and repeat the same command. So hit enter. And there you see, we are connected to our private uh, EC2 instance. This is a target EC2 instance. And you can see it's IP address right here. And now you can go ahead and, you know, probably try and install something, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen over here because I don't have a NAT instance attached. So you can probably create, let's create a file over here, uh, Vimnam. I'm gonna go over here, create uh, a file. For this is my file on target Linux C2 instance. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. So hit escape colon WQ. And there you go. We connected successfully to our target EC2 instance. And it's a, uh, using its private IP. And we successfully even created a file on our target uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so let's exit from here. Type exit. And you're back to your original instance, which was your source instance. And let's exit from our source instance as well. And we are totally disconnected right now. Okay guys, so that's it from me. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Please feel free to post your comments uh, if you would like me to create videos on any other topic, um, then do let me know. Otherwise, uh, I will see you shortly in some other video. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.